Howdy, this is Timo and you're watching Blit Photo Tutorials. Today I want to create a dramatic look for an urban image. Okay, first of all, let's crop Tate. Um, I want to crop away this edge of the wall here. So I'm grabbing the crop tool and Pushing this edge a little to the left. Yeah, nice. Okay, next in my standard workflow, uh, care about the light and I want really, really crank up the contrast. Um, not necessarily with the contrast tool, but uh, I want really um, uh, strong blacks and whites here. So um, I'm going to bring down the saturation as always and I'm adding a little vignette here. Uh, and now I'm um, recovering the blacks and the whites with a level tool. Maybe a bit more than the graph shows here. Because, as I said, I want to have really strong whites and blacks. So let's go for this and cut away all this here. And uh, let's um, make it a bit darker with the levels tools. Ah, that's good. Um, let's recover uh, the highlights in the sky here a bit. And let's recover the shadows here. In this case, we can go for a high value on the shadows uh, of the HDR tool because the look should be a bit artificial in this case. So this looks pretty good. Um, let's care about the colors. I'm slowly increasing the saturation I, until I get the desired result. I think it shouldn't be more than negative 85. And I want to add a greenish tint to the shadows. So I'm selecting the color balance tool and the shadows manipulator and I'm selecting a greenish tint here. And I bring up this just a little about a fifth or something. Okay, next thing, uh, let's care about the sharpness. I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm just bringing up the structure. I think we can get, go for max here and that's okay. And now the interesting part, uh, let's paint highlights. So I'm creating local adjustment layers and I'm grabbing the brush tool. And first of all, I want to um, brighten up the path here a bit. Let's um, bring up the exposure. Okay, next thing I want to add a um, highlight to the steel element here. So I'm going to create another local adjustment layer. And uh, with the brush tool, I'm just going to draw a straight line here on this edge. And I'm increasing the exposure. Yeah. Can go for maximum. Okay, and the same uh, thing I want to apply for those guys up here. So let's create another local adjustment layer and paint those guys. Can bring up the exposure so that we can see what we do here. This is a bit too much, but we can reduce this later. Maybe around half of it. 
Okay. Same for those guys here. Yep, that's it. Maybe a little more for the first one because these are a lot brighter. Yeah, that's good. Okay, um, we also can set some highlights here to those arcs. Let's grab a bigger brush. And paint those edge here. And those. Okay, let's increase exposure for this. Okay, I think that's it. Let's check before, after. Before, after. Really awesome. I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.